Calming. <laughs> this is where we lose our following. This is the video. We lose our following. We are, we're just getting our following and we're losing it. Hey guys, this is Joe. And I'm Adrian. And welcome to Not Another, another Gay Vlog. vlog. What we're gonna talk about is dating. Uh, our worst stories ever. And I guess should we do tips? We probably should do tips. I mean, it's like they say. I mean, we're single, but I mean, what, what do we know? <laughs> it's like they say, if you can't do, teach. Right. Have you heard that saying? Yeah. Are we gonna teach dating now? I don't know. But I mean, I feel like I have. We're gonna be single. I know I'm good. I'm very good at being single. I know how to give you advice, but I won't follow it. <laughs> yeah, you won't. I don't know. It's sad. No, not even my advice. You won't do it. I know. So, are you on any apps? I think the fifth. Oh come on. <laughs> yes, I am. Of course, I am. I mean, how did we meet after all? <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, Growler, of course, I love me some bears, mm -hmm. Scruff, Okay. and I I sometimes forget I'm on Grinder. I was like, oh shit, yeah, oh, there it is, you know, tap yeah. it, I was like, oh. I'm on Growler for sure, that, but I only go on just because I get a message and I was going to delete it, not because I'm actually on it, <laughs> I just hate seeing the little notification on there, and okay. the other ones, I, I really don't really use them to be honest. Hmm. I kind of got over them. When I was really single, I was all about them though, but now like two, almost three years later, I get fold. I, I do like to take new photos, and I do like to put them as my profile paper, picture, and then I'll leave it at that, and then I'll wait oh, the week, and mm -hmm. then it's like, oh. Do you got any messages? Oh, same, <laughs> the same people. Literally, the same people. Because only no one moves out of your area, so it's like it, that's true. It's it really is. I think the apps are good for if you go traveling like to different bars and different scenes. But if you're going to the same scene every time, you're gonna see the same people. Yeah. And do you ever post like a photo thinking you look like super fire as, and then like nobody hits you up? <laughs> no, oh, just me. No, I. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Does that happen? Is that recent? <laughs> yeah, more like all the time. <laughs> <laughs> no, usually when I post, I usually get like an inquiry of like. Oh, one she person. has inquiries. Well, I just get, I just get, not even an inquiry. More like, should I do this? Like, I, I, I'll ask one or two people. Oh my god, my shit's dry as. <laughs> yeah, you don't. You never ask me to just like, oh, rate this photo for me before I post it. I know, but it's because, like I said, I rarely use it, but still, you know, sometimes you still want to get, like, a like or two, or a growl, or whatever they're called. A woof. A woof. <laughs> yeah. I actually don't like wolves. Oh. Have you ever been on a date from someone from Growler? Yeah. How did that go? Not bad. It was, you know what, I always, I don't like to go on full on dinner dates or movie dates because movie dates, okay, movie, you're gonna be quiet the entire time. You're gonna be watching the movie. Mm -hmm. Why are you gonna, why are you gonna go? No, no, the purpose of the date is to get to know them to see if you wanna per pursue dating them. Yeah. No, I like to do coffee because coffee is small, it's short. You could extend it as long as you want or shorten it really quick. Be like, oh girl, like I said coffee because I need to do the quick thing afterwards. Mm -hmm. That's me. Yeah, you can always dip out. Or do a quick key afterwards. <laughs> Is dick only in your life? Wow. I'm just saying. I know about a day and not a hookup, just a difference. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, what is that like? A date? <laughs> You have more luck than me. Okay, but not really. The old ghost. They're all the same. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> that a couple of water bitches make me throw it. <laughs> so it's only happened to me one time in my life that someone actually approached me. I was, look I was looking like shit too. I think I told you the story. Was it after work? Yes, it was after work. Your bus. I was trying to catch my bus, yes. And it was a rainy day, make it extra dramatic. And then I see this guy in the corner, like looking at me, and I'm like, who's he looking at? And he kind of had a familiar face. So I didn't think much of it, and I kept on walking. 
And then as I got closer, I was like, oh wait, no, I don't know him. So he's like, you know, turned. And then I turned back and he's still looking at me and I'm like, what the heck is going on? He's your face girl. He was just like... <laughs> I'm like, I, I know I look like shit, but then you have to stare. <laughs> and next thing you know, he comes up and like, I basically gave him my number. <laughs> and we'll leave it at that. Mm, okay. Like I said, speaking of people like ghost. <laughs> and yeah, we're two single, so you could tell. Mm -hmm. Two single women, one man. One man. So you can tell how that story ended. A little petty. <laughs> <laughs> so, mm -hmm. for me, I I do like the app. Just like I said, it's, it gives a more vulnerability. Mm -hmm. But in person, like I said, it also, uh, no. No, it doesn't, no. I said it wrong. Pers in person, there's a vulnerability. So in person, I like seeing them. I like to hug them. But when we meet anyone, we usually say hi with a hug. You know, the, the, the Latin kids that like, to kiss. And that's majority to our friends. When I meet someone new, it's the handshake. And you, you, you know the intention of, I find you attractive with the, the handshake and the gleaming smile with them looking in your eyes like, yeah. So, <laughs> so you know when they're into you. So, because it's so rare, you know what it is. Mm -hmm. uh, again, that usually happens at the bars. That never happened to me outside like you, you know. Well, it's like a one-time thing. Yeah, I've, never, really I've never had that. I've never had that. I me mean, neither. That was my only time. Uh, apps give me the liberty to tell people everything about me. Mm -hmm. So if they don't like me, bye. Would you ever date a drag queen? Oh my. I, I wouldn't mind dating uh, a trans man. Okay. Female to male. I wouldn't mind dating. Mm -hmm. Somebody asked me one time um, if I would mind dating a drag queen, and honestly, like, no, I think it, that's super cool. Like, I think it's so interesting how they like transform themselves. If anything, I would like want to help with like with their hair and whatnot. If anything, I'd be like, I want to be there at all your shows. Yeah. If you're gonna travel and I can't travel, it's like fine. But when we're local, I want to go with you. I want to be like their Nick and Pedro to their Derek Barry. But yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind dating a drag queen. Uh, I wouldn't mind dating a trans man. Mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to like I said, dating, I like coffee shops. It's easy, quick, dip out, dip in and out. Mm -hmm. It's more personal. I want a personal date my first time. Second date, when it, it, you need something exciting to spark whatever it is. So like, a lot of people say amusement parks. I was like, I don't got money to go to a random music, amusement park and wait in those goddamn lines. No. And it's California and it's appro approaching like some, we're in summer now, so I was like, F no, hell no, hell no, I'm not gonna about to, no. And this is a water park, you know, I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. But if we go to like shopping centers, I want to, I don't mind that. A lot of people are like, no, but you're still spending It's like, no, I want to, if I'm doing a shopping date with you, I just want to see what clothes you would pick out, what, what clothes I would pick out, and then we'll just see, like, I want to see what you do. I don't, I don't know about. That's that not being my first date. No, I said coffee date the first one. I, movie dates are more like when your guys are already comfortable with each other. Mm -hmm. Dinner, I'm okay with dinner dates too. I love dinner dates because I just love dinner in general. You like to eat? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and what are your top um, dinner places to go to? Like, would you go to Olive Garden? Oh no, <laughs> I would not. I would be Korean barbecue. I like the hole oh. in the walls. I like the hole in the walls. I love Korean barbecue, but dang, afterwards I feel like so bloated. You're not doing anything else out there. <laughs> but, well, you know, no, you're not doing anything afterwards unless you've done it before you went to Korean barbecue. True. So, I like Korean barbecue a lot. I think my favorite, pl my favorite place to go on a date would be Lucio's. Mm -hmm. There's this restaurant in downtown LA, I love it. It's right next to The Broad. It's called Blue Cow, I believe. It's really good. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. It's kind of hidden. It's right next to Mocha and the Broad. Okay. You go downstairs and it's like the first restaurant you can see on the right. 
it's really it's really good so that's another place i would like yes like the hidden gems are the best so do you have any advice for our viewers out there be honest you have to be 100 percent honest if you don't like the smallest thing and it's gonna and if it's don't let it eat out eat away at you because you know what later on it's just gonna be that thing that festered inside and mm -hmm. made you hate that's the reason why you hate them don't be honest be like i don't like that you you like chill out for example yeah or you smack your gum or you you don't like that i bite my nails mm -hmm. that's disgusting yeah see like like she don't like that she tells me all the time and she gets mad at me but we're not dating so i'm kidding no fine <laughs> <laughs> and you just gotta be honest with them because you know what in the end if you Dating is before you get to get to be their significant other, their your partner. Mm -hmm. Partner is to see if you guys are compatible to move in together or marry each other. Mar being married is serious for me. So if I get married to them, I'm not gonna divorce you. Like if if you cheat or I cheat, we're gonna make this work. We're gonna go to counseling. You know, we're gonna like go to do that. The, we're gonna, one of us is gonna go through drugs. We're gonna go to drug therapy. We're gonna go through the whole shit back. I'm not. I don't want a divorce. Oh God, and if we, if you do file for a divorce, shit, I want 75 of all your shit. Not 50, 75, because you wrote those papers. I told you I did not want a divorce. Dang. I guess the only thing I could tell the viewers is. Like you said, be honest and also don't ghost people. That's just rude. If you don't like the person, tell them because you don't know how much it might hurt the other person. You know. Okay, but what if they don't get the hint? There's been people where I have, you have, I have to ghost them because they don't fucking get a hint. Okay, well you have to literally be, be straight out. I have. Okay, then you can ghost them then. Okay. <laughs> okay. But if all else fails, ghost them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or her. You know. Or her. What else? We don't, we're not telling you who to date. Yeah. Yeah. But know your priorities. And know your values. And morals. Don't throw them all outside the window, like I do. On a... True. Not a daily basis, you know, because... Like by I, weekly? No, because then I would have to be on a date by weekly. <laughs> you know, if I had a chart of all the people I've dated, it would be on my hands. Hand? Hands. One of them. It'd be. It'd probably be like. Sure, uh, you need my hand. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's it. That's all we got for dating. This yeah. is a. This was a very anti-climatic video. We probably didn't help anybody, but we invented. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think this was more to cast blame on people who ghost yeah. us and to tell people we're single as. F Call me. This is where we lose our following. This is the video we lose our following. We are just getting our following and we're losing it. So I guess that's it. If you have any comments or you have anything to say about us that we're ugly, that's fine. Comment. I don't give a fuck. And make sure to subscribe. And follow us on our social medias, I guess. I mean, you never know. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys...